Coach Ryan Rucco, Yes Network. Where are what? you, Ryan? My awareness. <laughs> to your left. There you go. Maybe you guys can stand up. Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to. Um, how would you describe the level of excitement, the energy you're feeling this day after the offseason you guys had, getting ready to finally now start officially on the floor together? Yeah, it's like the first day of school. You know, we're, we're excited. Obviously, we uh, we have a new class, uh, some, some some new classmates uh, that, that we've added to the team, and, and lost some guys, obviously. So that's always an exciting challenge, trying to uh, figure out a, a, a new team and, and a, a new squad. So uh, very excited. Um, obviously, uh, uh, we've added some talent. Uh, and uh, I think it's great for the fans, great for the city, uh, great challenge for, for us as an organization to keep keep moving up. Is Kevin Durant going to travel with you all to China? To be determined. Let's, let's see how that goes. I think that's you know, up to uh, rehab plan and where he is, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll see. Ian Bagley asked me why. Kyrie injury the other day. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? And was he limited at all with practices with games coming up? So Ian, you probably played a lot of pickup games and you know, stuff happens. I think uh, you know took an in took an inadvertent elbow, not a big thing. I'm not gonna get into the details of the injury, but uh, uh, nothing serious. Coach Hi, John. John Truman, Does your job description change? Going forward, is why? From from developing a young team to what you guys accomplished last year, now to a team with more expectations and and different kinds of players. Yeah, like I said before, I, think, I just think it's a new challenge. Uh, um, I think we have our core values, our foundation of what we build. I don't I don't see our us veering from that or. Um, me veering from my personality as a coach, I do think it's it's figuring this new uh, uh, this new team out, and, and uh, that's that's an evolution that's going to take time. Uh, but uh, like I said, it's an exciting challenge. But uh, I don't I don't plan on changing like just just because of the chess pieces of, of change. I think it's it's a uh, um, similar philosophy: figure out uh, the players you have, and then put them in the best position uh, to win. To win ball games. Hey, coach. Yeah. Uh, Christian went through a meeting really yeah. Um What is it? It's you know it's been Spencer, it's been D'Angelo for for the little bit of uh, time that he was here. Jeremy was here. Uh, first part of this question is: What is it in your background that has enabled you to have so much success with point guards? I've had the, the luck and the opportunity to coach good players. You know, Jeff T. I think of all the point guards that. Uh, just, I think it's a little bit of luck, you know, having the, having the right guys, and then, uh, um, you know, I, I think getting that chemistry and that trust, uh, whether you're an assistant coach or, or, or head coach, and also I think understanding how important that position is. I think that's that's you know, I, I talk to our guys all the time. You're the quarterback quarterback of the team, and, and uh, it's a it's a argue, arguably the most important position, and. and, and basketball today so uh, understanding that and, and, and supporting that and also being a former point, point guard myself not nearly at the level of any of those guys but having kind of an understanding of what, what that position uh, what that position means I think that that's, that's part of it and I guess the, the second part of my question is are there any challenges that, that Kyrie brings when you have a player as talented as he is uh, are there any challenges that he poses to you in, from a coaching perspective yeah, I don't. I don't know if challenges are the. It's the right. The challenge is the right word. But figuring, figuring out how to put him in the best position to to keep improving, and, and that's that's the challenge, right? When you're reaching the elite level, now there's there's another level to go to. And I, I think that's 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 the challenge to push him to even, even to become better. And uh, I'm excited about that. Ken Brian, Ken Brian. Uh, last year, I think a lot of people would contend probably. Uh, overachieved based on some great chemistry and great and really good cohesion. I'm curious when you're adding players, obviously as talented as some of the ones that you're adding, but you're also losing a lot of veteran leaders that you have, and you're bringing in 
how should I say, outsized personas, guys with some pretty strong ideas and strong pers personalities. How much, I guess, angst do you have about where your chemistry is going to be and the efforts that you're going to have to do to make sure that it's yeah. maintaining the kind of chemistry that you want? No, I, 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 again, I, I look at it, it's like a wonderful challenge. Like to, that, That's the really fun part of being a coach, is how to get uh, all these pieces uh, uh, to work together. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, there's uh, uh, obviously, we, we, I thought we did, as a coaching staff, we did a good job getting, getting uh, you know, those guys to play together last year and, 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 and create that, that great chemistry, which I think, like you said, helped them uh, maybe overachieve a little bit. But it's, I think it's the same challenge with, with these guys and a, and a fun challenge. Uh, and, and I can't tell you what that's going to look like right now. I've got to get to know these guys better, but uh, I, I'm excited about it. Kenny Trout here for BSL. Yes. So, <laughs> players often talk about the summertime where they go and work on their game and get better and bring back something new. For you and the coaching staff, obviously you've got your core philosophy, but what did you guys sort of sharpen and work on this summer, and what can you tell us about the conversations about the new opportunities you're going to have with your team? Yeah. That's a great question. I think we always talk in terms of the players, but I think when you're you're trying to build a high performance culture, you know, a high performance. That's that includes everybody in the organization, from Sean to me, to assistant coaches, to performance team, medical staff. Uh, I think we're working on our games, and, and that permeates through the organization. So, uh, um, and that, that's, I think that's a fun way to do it. Um, I, I know we, uh, as a coaching staff, we, we, uh, we're, we're gonna change some things. Like, you know, even to, you know, training camp, you know, we, we've already tweaked some things, and, and uh, philosophically, uh, you'll see some tweaks. I'm not going to tell you what they are or tell our opponents what they are, but I, I think you have to change. You have to, uh, you have to be able to adapt. You have to be flexible. In this league, if you stay the same, you know, teams are going to pass you. So, uh, all that being said, we have to keep our foundation or our core, our core values intact to, to continue to improve. Uh, Steve Woodson, Steve W. Hey, Doom. Uh, we've talked before about it. The incredible patience you've shown in the first few years here. Now that the expectations are a little bit different, do you think that has to change? No, I, th I, I think, uh, listen, I think we're still building. You know, I, I you say the roster's changed, and, and uh, uh, you know, I, 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 and I'm glad no one's asked it yet, but I, I've never come up here and said, hey, here's the win total you know, the Nets are going to have for this year. I think, I think we, um, uh, we understand there's expectations. Uh, you know, I, I, I read these, uh, um, you know, um, statistical models, right, the win projection models. I've seen Nets win, you know, 38 games and 37 and low 40s, and I've, you know, I've kind of seen the gamut. So, I don't ignore those. I, I read them, but uh, we have our own expectations. Uh, but I looked at. I don't look at it as a negative thing. I look at it as a challenge. Like, okay, there, there are people out there, you know, doubting, uh, uh, you know, uh, how how high we can go. And you know, last time I checked, I'm not sure. If 38 wins gets you in the playoffs. So it's probably, you know. Uh, so I, I I understand. I think we understand the challenge. That this isn't going to be easy. This is uh, uh, a very competitive league. I think there's a lot of parity in this league. So we're going to have to uh, come together, come together quickly to be able to uh, uh, you know, keep improving uh, from last year. Hey, uh, Greg Logan. Hey, Greg. Uh, you said that you're going to make some changes, tweak your philosophy. Uh, how much of that revolves around Kyrie? How will the team be different under his leadership? And how often do you see yourself using him and LeBert and Dinwiddie all at the same time? I think the best coaches adapt to their players. Like I, don't, I don't think you, you know, you, you have to understand uh, um, the players you have and, and, again, put them in the best position to succeed. So that's, I think those are part of the tweets, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, I don't think they're monumental changes, but, but subtle changes that, that, that will help our our, uh, our team to get, uh, come together uh, quicker. But, uh, 
the use of depth on possible. I think you want your best players on the floor, and, and uh, um, obviously they have to earn that. And, and uh, but you, you just mentioned three uh, really really good players that uh, you know that that could be a lineup. Uh, obviously with the speed and the ball handling that that, uh, that you could see. Hey Kevin, uh, Mike Mazzio from Yahoo Hi. Sports. Um, Kevin Durant had said Steve Kerr's offense, his motion offense, kind of only takes him so far. I was kind of curious what you took from that, and, and are you kind of already drawing up, you know, knowing he made this decision, I kind of wonder how you uh, sort of approach that situation. Yeah, I vaguely heard about that, that quote, and, and listen, I have tremendous respect for Steve and, and what he's done, and, and great offensive coach, great coach, so. Uh, I also respect you know, Kevin's opinion on that, but like I said, it, it's we're really going to have to figure out uh, um, you know, when, when, when Kevin plays how to how to put him in the best position. I can't I can't get on a whiteboard right now and, and draw you know draw it up and show you what it looks like. But uh, well, I think uh, that's that's going to be a lot of conversations with the staff with Kevin, uh, seeing where he's been successful in the past and and putting it in our, our own system. So, um, you know, again, a challenge to see if we can, because uh, I, th I think you want a player comfortable in your system. So that's going to be a, 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 a challenge for us. And how do you kind of, just to follow up on that, how do you balance that, the fact that you might, may not play, who knows, you know, you might have. Yeah, no, I think with Kevin, I think that is, it's not out of your mind. I think it's a little bit in the back of my mind. It's, it's always there, because you know, uh, uh, you know he's, he's coming back. And, He's going to come back as a, a great player, so it's here. But I think first and foremost is is, is you know the team that's that's healthy right now. And you're, you're gonna you're gonna throw out day one, um, game one. So um, that's that's more in the forefront. But it's definitely my in, in, in my mind. Hey, Coach Stephen Bond, you here again. Um, just uh, you know, you've been able to spend more time with Kyrie lately. How was that? Relationship evolving. Obviously, it's not going to be. It's not going to. It's not at where it's going to be eventually. Um, but you know, what's your impressions of him and his <coughs> desire to be coached and all that stuff? No, it's been <laughs> as good as it can be. I, I you know, I, I just, uh, I just think um, you know, the off season is a great time to, to get to know not only the player and, and the basketball part, but the, the person and. and uh, um, I think it's a, 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 a slow process, a building process, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased where, where it is right now. Again, it's early. We've had great basketball conversations, but maybe more importantly, great life conversations. And, uh, 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 you know, and from a, a uh, kind of basketball standpoint, the, you know, I've seen with pickup games and very impressed with the first of all the work capacity, the work ethic is you know is a reason uh, he's a great player and, and people don't they talk about talent but they forget about the work part so the work part and then uh, uh, the understanding of getting the basketball IQ is, is at, at a very 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 high level uh, so um, it's it's exciting and I'm, I'm you know I can't wait. To, to see where that relationship goes, but it's really got off to a great start. And uh, you know, the real test is when, when the pressure of games comes and, and, and all that stuff. That's that we all know. That's that's the real test of relationship. Hey, Coach Adam Zagoria from yeah. Forbes. How you doing? Um, just to kind of follow on Mike's question with Kevin, what do you expect he can kind of bring this season? You know, not playing to practice and being around the team and. Is it almost like having a, a Maserati or Porsche in your garage that you can't use until next year? What, what's that feeling like? Yeah, I think his presence when he walks into a room and, and when he walks into this facility from from really, you know, the, 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 you know, you know, free agency. You know, when he walked in the room, it's just a, just a different vibe. I think we all we all know his uh, background and how great a player he is and all, all, all the great things he's done in this. So that that presence it, it changes things. There's a different aura. Uh, and and um, I think it's going to elevate all of our games. So I think he's going to help our uh, uh, player, you know, our other players get better, his teammates get better. But I think he's going to help our coaching staff get better. I, th I think that's uh, I always say players, you know, players know more than coaches, and I, I really believe it. And then you talk about the elite players; they know a, a, a ton about this game. They've been through the the really uh, high pressure situations. So. I, I, 
you know, already we've had some great basketball conversations, and uh, um, really looking forward to that. That this year, it's 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 a kind of a, a, a going to be a great segue to uh, to when he actually can play. Bob Windrum, uh, uh, Who among who on your roster has surprised you? Um, both who? returning. Who on the roster has surprised you? Both returning players and some of the new guys, since you have eight of them. Well, that's a tough question. Can we wait till like two weeks of training? You, 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 no. I can't wait. I have to give you an answer. Oh man, uh, listen. I was really pleased with the, you know what good harken to summer league. Like Jared Allen, first of all, the guy. Wanted to play summer league and wanted to improve. You know, third year out, a lot of guys don't want to play. They, you know, uh, they, 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 they refuse to play. So I thought he took a step. Uh, he was one of the best players in summer league. He said, "Well, what's that worth?" And I think it's worth a lot, personally. Uh, uh, Rody obviously played summer league. I thought he improved. And then uh, you know, Musa had, had shown real progress, and that's carried over to uh, um, you know. Um, Kind of the preseason workouts, you know, that those guys have, have, have raised their level. Karras obviously is, is another guy that we're looking to have, you know, make a jump, and I, I, I think he's heading in that direction. Uh, uh, and Theo Pinson, quite honestly, I don't, you know, Theo knows this. You know, he summer league didn't have the greatest summer league, but in uh, you know preseason workouts, he's been. Uh, Really playing at a high level, and, but again, to be confirmed, Bob. Right? Like, let's let's you know when the lights come on, and, and uh, um, but we definitely need we need our young guys to step up. You know, we're going to talk about Kevin and Kyrie a lot, but you know who's going to make that jump? I think that's a challenge for for the, for our young players, and, and and also a challenge for the coaching staff to, to you know push these guys to another level. I mean, you, you've said in the past, and other coaches have said, you don't really know a player until you get him in your program and you coach him. Sure. And obviously, you haven't coached Kyrie or Kevin yet. Have you talked to any of your peers, any coaches? Yes. Coaching those guys? Like, can you yes. say anything about any of those kind of things? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I want to divulge. It's, it's, I, I think that's, that's the first. You do your due diligence. You do your background. You talk to uh, uh, coaches that have coached them. I think it... You know, Sometimes you go back to their high school coach because you can you can learn things that, uh, about a player. It's a great tool to help you uh, uh, coach a player player uh, player better. Kenny, I'm curious. Yeah, you talked about the young guys are going to be relied upon to take a step forward. Uh, I'm curious with uh, Rodion's. I don't know what you can share, what you can't share, but uh, do you expect him to be? Available for you at the start of the season, or is that something you won't know? I guess to do back in what two days before the opener. Yeah, no, I, I can't comment on any of that. You know, I think there's we all uh, understand the situation. I can comment or not comment on. I, I just know uh, uh, me and Rody, we, we, we have a good relationship and, and, and we talk a lot. And, and uh, I think that's part of your job as a coach to, is to be a you know mentor and. and uh, uh, talk through on-court problems and, and off-court situations. So that's about all I can say to that, but then the rest uh, you know, leave alone. Kenny, Tom Dowd, uh, next.com. You got the China trip coming up. How does that affect just your kind of traditional preseason planning, and, and how valuable is that for the, the players to have that experience together? I can't tell you how excited we are as, as a team, as an organization. Uh, uh, to go to China, uh, I think uh, um, you know uh, I've been there a couple times. I, I think these type of trips can define you as a team. I think it brings you closer together. Uh, um, obviously, you know we have the, the, the you know it's it's a, it's a long trip and you have to, you know, there can be residual effects on that in terms of fatigue and everything, but. The positives far outweigh the, the, any negative, and uh, uh, we've been gearing up to, for this for, for a long time. Um, it's you know, triple exciting. You know, uh, Joe Sai is, is our owner, and, and uh, uh, obviously uh, uh, that is that is that is a huge plus. I feel like we have almost a home court advantage in China. 
uh, because of that and his, his understanding of, 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 of how things work there. So we're, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're raring to go. Can't wait to, 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 uh, to make that trip. Last question, Greg. Any, uh, how do you see the situation at Power Forward, given the suspension of Chandler, Brody's situation, the addition of Prince, and so on? It'll play out. It'll play out through competition. Uh, I think we have, uh, um, that's, that's a great thing about having a versatile roster. And I think you guys saw that last year, even you know, we had a few injuries, but we, we, we can plug a lot, of, a lot of guys in. You know, no, no one's talked about David Nawaba, who I think was an excellent signing. He can, he can play that position. We have guys who can play multiple positions. I think you know, Greg, you know, the four spot has is, is, is become that, that kind of hybrid spot, so we, we can definitely, uh, uh, we have the, uh, uh, the talent and the, and the personnel to, to fill that position. Thank you.